Hello team, welcome to my session on Coffee with Prab and today we're going to discuss about NIST CSF 2.0 and uh, I already made two three videos on CSF 1.1 but this time I'm releasing a complete video series of NIST CFS 2.0 and by next year I'm also planning to release a complete course on CSF 2.0 which is a five days training program. But in this video, we're going to discuss about how to implement NIST cybersecurity framework from scratch in the organization. What are the functions which is introduced in 2.0? What are the called profiles and how to organize the profile in detail? And we're going to discuss the CSF 2.0 with the implementation reference of the case study with the case study. If you're new to the channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos on a similar topic. My name is Prab Nair. For more information, do check my LinkedIn profile. So without wasting a time, let's start with the first part. Thank you. So when we're talking about NIST cybersecurity framework, this framework basically has a five core functions, which is govern, identify, protect, detect, respond, and recover. You can say like that govern is a sub part of or holistic view of all the sub part of the framework. Now, if you take example of govern under the govern, we start the organization with organization context. Then we have a risk management strategy, then supply chain roles and responsibility policy procedures and we look for the oversight then we have identify in, in initially what happened in the 1.1 version govern is a part of identify but now this time they made the govern as a separate function okay then identify then protect then detect then respond and recover so we're we going to discuss each and every component in detail in my further video series but for your reference initially we have a four uh, we, we used to have a five key function but now we have a six key functions so we have now six key functions which is used in a cyber security framework now when we're talking about framework and standard so thin line difference is basically framework is a guideline framework is something is a logical structure okay which can be adopt customized according to the business requirement but when we adopt standard it is basically concise when we adopt standard, it promotes the uniformity. Now, let me give an example. I want to build a house. So this is the house we have. Now in the house, what I need, the necessity is TV. Okay, I need a balcony. I need a fridge. Okay, I need an AC. Now I can buy any AC, I can buy any TV because when you buy any flat and all that, it come with that as a free offer. But it's not necessary, it is installed as per your brand requirement. So I'm using a word here is brand requirement. So that is how you're able to measure yourself in the society. So he said, no, I don't want the random TV. I want a Samsung TV or I want a, or a, a, I want a LG AC or I want a Samsung fridge. Don't worry. They have not endorsed my, uh, this video, but I'm just giving example. So when we using particular brand name and all that, that is how we are used to measure the quality of living. So that is called a standard. Now, NIST cybersecurity framework, they say that you need to have a risk assessment. Now it's up to me, how can I do risk assessment? They say you do risk assessment. So I adopt this framework and according to the framework, they have a practice of conducting a risk assessment. I will do the risk assessment, but I want to follow a particular standard of risk assessment like 31,000, 27,005. So this is where I'm using a particular standard because people trust that. So framework, first we adopt the framework which can be customized as per business objective. And then based on a particular practice, if you want to adopt a particular standard, you can basically adopt a standard. Same example is according to the framework system should be protected with password, but eight character is a very good password. Nine character is a good password. That is a standard, which ISO say, which NIST say. So NIST has a frameworks. It also have a standards. Okay. But we have a particular standards, which is used for the certification. So thin line differences framework is something logical in nature, which can be customized as per the business objective, which standard cannot be customized. It come with the mandatory requirement. So in NIST cybersecurity framework, we have a six core functions. Yes. Now, when you're talking about in NIST, when we implementing a cybersecurity framework in NIST, we called a profile profile mean list of function, what you have in the organization. So we have a two type of profile, current profile. What is currently we have 
एंड टारगेट प्रोफाइल वट इज़ माई डिज़ायर आउटकम एग्जाम्पल लाइक वेनेवर वी इम्प्लीमेंट एनी थिंग इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वी ऑलवेज स्टार्ट विद द गैप असेसमेंट ओके इट इज़ ऑलवेज अ गुड प्रैक्टिस बिकॉज दिज नो पॉइंट टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम जीरो सो आई डू गैप असेसमेंट टू आइडेंटिफाई यू नो वट इज़ अ करंट प्रैक्टिस दे हैव एग्जाम्पल लाइक द करंट प्रैक्टिस दे हैव अ इंसिडेंट मैनेजमेंट बट नॉट दे इज़ नो वे टू मेजर on paper they have a password controls but in reality there's no password systems so current profile basically mean list of current activity what we have in the company okay what extent each outcome has been achieved and what we need to achieve like i want a incident management process but it should be effective so that will become my target profile so target profile is something which cover the desire outcome that organization has selected and prioritize them for the core function of achieving the cyber security so target profile they basically take into the account of anticipated changes to the organization's cyber security posture they look for the new requirement they look for the new technologies and all that now company want a scalability company want a availability the current state they don't have a cloud so target profile is they want a cloud with appropriate security so question is how to create that okay so we basically use one more thing which is called as a community profile so community is called as a target profile okay so but in some cases what happen is they don't have anything so they first create a current profile for example organization want to review its current effort they want to review the current effort first and then think about the area of improvement other basically prefer to start with the target profile to work toward for example organization that need to meet the set of new requirement understood so that is what we have so when we talking about here we understand the mission we understand the stakeholder expectation we understand the a uh, threat environment we understand the requirement then we use this framework understand the current profile and then we work hard to achieve the target profile so that that is how it works okay that is how it works so organization can create and use profile to utilize the full capability of framework okay so there are many way to use profile like you can compare the current cyber security practice to a sector like industry specific sector regulatory requirement you can document their informative references like guidelines standard and procedure policies you can set the goals okay you can prioritize okay so example like i don't want to start in identify after risk assessment i want to go for identity management so you can basically assess the progress and prioritize you can communicate about the cyber cyber security capability you can express your requirement okay if you involving the partner and all that so that's something you can you can start so this is basically your input okay this become your current profile and then you will achieve what is the target profile so you can set the target profile and based on that you can work on their objective it is same like you know my current weight is 80 my target is basically 100 so my current profile is 80 my target is basically 100 so based on that i will do gap assessment i will prepare the workout plan and according to that i will add my elements to achieve the 100 kg goal so that is how it works now question is how to implement how to create a profile how to use profile so there are the steps the first step is prioritize and scope second is oriented third is create a current profile fourth is conduct a risk assessment then four, fifth is called create a target profile Sixth is basically called determine, analyze, and prioritize the gap. Sixth is implement action plan. Seventh is review and update. Eight is communicate report, and then finally we have a repeat. Okay, in some cases they use define the use case, gather the need, create a profile, analyze. But as I said, I want to start from completely scratch, so that's why I added my own element into that. Because recently in one of the projects I implement the framework. So we're going to discuss each and every phase in detail with the help of case study. so that give you better visibility so let's move to the case study where i'm going to discuss each and every phase in detail thank you okay so first step is called prioritize and scope so as a cyber security expert or as a information security consultant if you want to create a profile or you want to refer cyber security framework they say the first step is prioritize and scope because we have a limited budget in one go in same year we cannot implement everything right so what we did we schedule the meeting with stakeholders business partners to determine the business mission objectives and strategic priorities okay we identify the current systems we identify the assets we identify the capability to support this objective how let me give an example so we have example like we have a healthcare organization they want to they want to prioritize to protect the patient data and they would focus on system and process related to the electronic health record now they have a multiple systems in the organization okay let's take example they have suppose seven server okay 
So let's suppose they have a seven server. Okay. Now when it comes to the seven server they have, so we have a server one, server two, server three, and server four. So we have a seven server example, out of which these are the four system in which we have a patient health records. So my priority is to predict this first. So I spoke to the stakeholders, I understand their business requirement and one of the core business is to protect their patient healthcare data. So this is how I identify the scope and this has helped me to prioritize what I need to protect first. Now second step is identify those systems and assets which is need to be comply with regulatory requirement and overall risk approach. So I have, I have identified this companies based out in US, they want to comply with HIPAA. So approach is I understand the current cybersecurity posture of the organization, what they have, because that is also very important. So example like here, as a cybersecurity consultant, uh, I work for the healthcare, so I identify all the servers, the database, the network where the patient data is stored. Simple, out of seven, four servers are basically which consists that. So I have to prioritize, I need to give attention to those four systems first. I will confirm with the system owner and everything. So that is basically part two, which is called Orient. We also review the Health Insurance Portability Act to understand the regulatory requirement because HIPAA also have their own requirement how to protect data. Then based on that, I will create a current profile. I will understand how the organization currently manage cybersecurity risk. Let, let me check whether they have existing risk pra practice. Let me check, do they have a recent uh, pen testing reports? I will check, do they take appropriate backups? So example like here, as a healthcare organization, I realize they have a firewall which and encrypt the data storage, regular data backups, but lack regularly secure training for the SAP. This is how I identify the assessment. Okay, so this is my current profile. Then based on that, I did the risk assessment where I analyze the operational environment to discern the likelihood of cybersecurity even an impact it would have. Now example like, I have discovered a healthcare system. I discovered the system is there. I discover some data is encrypted, but not other. So I will try to do the likelihood and impact of that particular action. Like if tomorrow that data get hacked, what is the impact? If someone able to use a new traffic and if it able to bypass the firewall, what is the impact? Okay, if you don't take a backup on a regular basis, if storage get out of space, what is the impact? So I will do the risk assessment. So as a cybersecurity pra practitioner, I will try to identify risk like phishing attacks, which targeting the staff. I will look for the potential ransomware attacks and unauth unauthorized data access. Then based on that, I will create a target profile where I will describe the organization desired security outcomes. This is basically where we are going to outline the cybersecurity posture. So example, like I discovered uh, they want to achieve the zero breach of patient data. They have all the staff undergo annual security training. We need to implement multi-factor authentication for all the systems. So this is the target profile we have identified. Now, if I go by the same cybersecurity framework, in this they talk about the controls references. So example, from a data security, I need encryption. Awareness sharing is required. Multi-factor authentication is required. The data in which it's stored, the platform required security. If you require business continuity according to technology infrastructure resilience, BCP plan is required, they need a continuous monitoring. So this is how we are introducing a framework and their associate practices. Okay, I'm going to discuss each and every function in detail and do let me know in the comment box shall I made a videos on that. Here I'm talking a very high level perspective how to use this profile. Okay, so as I said, we identify we basically implement the action plan because here we identify that, okay, they, they have a lack of staff trainings. Okay. And they want uh, sorry, they want to implement multi-factor authentications. So we determine, we analyze and prioritize the gap. So we compare the current profile and target profile to determine the gaps and we analyze these gaps to create a prioritize action plan. So here we understood that we identify the lack of staff training is significant gap. And they prioritize creating a comprehensive cybersecurity training program for the organization. And then we introduce the action plan that, okay, I want a necessary parameter to achieve the target profile. Because if I see the current profile, so if you take example here, the current profile is lack of security awareness training, not strong firewall. Okay. And now my target profile is my, my action plan here is this is my action plan. Okay. Action plan is basically, I will basically adopt NIST framework and in a sequence, I will introduce cybersecurity program. I will make the firewall effective 
and that become my target status everyone will be trained on security awareness and then we have a firewall so that is basically part of my action plan so healthcare organization roll out the mandatory cyber security training for all the employees and introduce a multi factor authentication and more important enhance the system monitoring then we do the review and update where we periodically review and update the current profile target profile risk assessment based on the business objective technology and threat landscape mostly we do in every 6 months to 1 year so after the organization review its profile they realize with the rise of telemedicines so there is a new set of risk to address a lot of cloud is coming lot of digital data is coming so according to that we need to protect so this is called as a review and update okay then based on that we communicate and report what happen is we ensure the stakeholder inform about the cyber security risk what has been done to mitigate and what has been done to accept so reference here is example organization id department provide quarterly report to the board of directors detailing a cyber security initiative breaches and improvement sometimes it's a regulatory requirement to notify also if any breach is there so communicate report is very important it include the kpi and kri like number of people have attended training post incident post training number of incident has been reported all those things need to be convey finally we do the repeat exercise because cyber security or information security is a continuous process so we regularly revisit the steps to ensure the organization cyber security posture remain robust and relevant so example like healthcare organization schedule the annual review of nic csa process to ensure they stay proactive in the cyber security efforts so this is how we create a profile team so example like here we have a particular function identify current policy praise we document what is the internal practice what is the target priority train up to 100 people for that we create a respective policy who is responsible for that and which standard we are using and we adding a note so that is how we are basically adding a practice okay now if you take example uh, let's take example like uh, the organization objective is now for the future is to protect the patient health records they need to comply with healthcare regulations so we did the risk assessment okay so according to govern we need to have a strategy according to identify we need to have asset management in place okay we need access control we need incident detections we need to respond we need to recover okay so according to that we create and then we talk about the action profile so this is how we creating overall template so do let me know how do you find this particular video and do let me know shall i made more videos on each and every functions of this nic csf 2.0 and if you're new to the channel do subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos on a similar topic good day bye